I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. What an absolutely oxymoronic life we live. An existential surrendering to human nature that can build and tear down in one breath, in one lifetime. Black girls are being told that we are magic, while simultaneously being the most disrespected person in America when we grow up. That's if we make it. That's if a racist blue life that America deems to matter more than hers decides to take a break. Dear God, we need a break, time off from the traumatic effects of human nature. We wage war on everything except racism. And everyone except the cowards who use guns, turning privilege into power, strange fruit beyond sour. You would think that hanging bodies would be too much, or at least egregious enough for a human being to stand up and fight more for colorful humans just being black in this country is exhausting. Yet there ain't nothing else that I would rather be. What a revolutionary anomaly we are. Ancestor scars tatted on the roots and folded into the fabric of this land. There would be no flag if it wasn't for our scars and stripes. Starry nights riddled with angels who once donned stripes from each strike, but whose light shines brighter because their wildest dreams became me. And within me resides a purpose to do more than just exist, to be more than a raised fist. Human nature is this, a poet loading her pencil like a gun, a promise she made to her mother to be done risking her life on the front lines for the black lives, for the gay lives, for the girls, for the girl that's 16 scared to come out to her parents for the support she looks for in my eyes even when I turn away. I can't turn away from this mission. I'm no savior, but my heart knows that I am here for this. I survived so she could, and Audrey did so I could, and I pray at 40, she gets to be the person that she needs me to be for her right now. Dear God, please let her make it. And I know that her life requires that she goes through certain things. I just pray that it's her authentic self she brings to the masses. And that she far surpasses 16, telling stories of the trouble she's seen but survived. What a time to be alive. And what a confusing, satisfying, frustrating, beautiful life to live. Showing up daily to help these kids at the same time struggling to pay bills and praying for the people of Israel and Palestine and speaking up for the trans lives and hoping to not wake up to another black life that's been stolen and pretending that my eyes aren't swollen from crying, smiling, head high and heart weeping for this world, for the brown lives, for the children, for all the things I could have been, and for all that I have yet become, and for being happy in my existence for once. Tears happy and sad, years adding and subtracting. We can't keep acting like we don't see what we see, and we can't keep pretending like we don't know what we know. Truth in nature and in human is how we grow. Letting love be our religion, if we could just step outside of our religion, whether it's with God or not, in corporate America or on the block, love is both our joy and our greatest sore spot. TikTok showcasing our beauty and disgust. Politicians waging war on the us that's less than. If only the us that's less than can see the power in being more than they expect us to be. Human nature has nothing to do with sexuality, or color, or culture, or religion. Human nature is standing on this stage with blurred vision and walking anyway. Using
using words as weapons to incite peace. Praying that one day, the true meaning of human nature will finally set us free. But I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood.